On now to a market uh, that Ladi likes so much. Uh, Ladi has had a restful weekend, I think. Yeah. And then he's kind here. Of, kind he's, of. Here, he's here with his market. <laughs> I hope your market didn't rest. Well, it looked uh, quite good over the weekend. Mm. Still uh, kept on that uh, pace we saw, you know, from last week. And we're I think seeing... you were at 41, yeah. on Friday. And now we're, we're about 45. We oh, go to the good. sentiment we're really there. Close to greed. greed. Yeah. I'm waiting to see good greed. I've not seen greed. <laughs> in months. Through, in months, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's it there. 45 points there. It's still fear, but it's uh, better than what we've had, you know, for a while now, which has been extreme fear. Let's uh, flip over to the market cap now. We see it's a $1.15 uh, trillion. That's down about 2.67%. We're seeing a bit of a pullback uh, this morning with the market volume trade at $66.63 uh, billion, up 25.75%. Bitcoin dominance, they're still at 40.83%. Let's uh, flip over now. Let's see what's happening with the price of Bitcoin. $24,388. It's down 1.60%. We did touch uh, $25,000 over the weekend. We're now volume traded, $27.94 uh, billion. We're seeing uh, Monday do uh, some of that pullback we normally see in the past there. And we saw Ethereum too. Ethereum did get up to $2,000. And now it's $1,923, down 2.4%. It was a great weekend uh, for the crypto uh, market. Now we see volume traded, $16.73 uh, billion. Let's uh, move on to the top odds by market cap. We see it's all red this morning, even though we had green over the weekend. We've seen BNB there, $318, having a pullback there, down 1.43%. Cardano, down 2.60%. Uh, eCash, also uh, down 3.24%. We see XRP. Looking more like a stable coin, I keep saying this, it's down 2.15%. Uh, Let's bring in Solomon Amunde now, Digital Market Analyst. Hello, Solomon. Good morning, Ladi. Uh, good morning, uh, uh, Solomon. Uh, great to have you. So we're seeing uh, a bit of a pullback uh, uh, this morning in the market. How are you seeing it? It's quite healthy. Um, Bitcoin has actually established a support at $24,000, and all we're doing is we're testing the support. We might likely break to 23400 but I doubt we would stay that low. But um, what I'm expecting basically for this week is um, I'm expecting Bitcoin to make a move to actually break $25,200. We saw that happen early this morning around 3 a.m., so I'm still expecting us to try that within the week and most likely hit 26 k so I'm still very much optimistic that we would see 26K this month. Right, quite interesting. And uh, over the weekend, we had that issue with uh, Tornado Cash, that uh, uh, mix uh, there. It's uh, been, uh, we've seen the uh, U.S. there, they've uh, suspended that account and their GitHub and all of that. What does this uh, tell us about decentralization? Because we're seeing, you know, a, a whole blockchain there being shut down. Okay, so so... Basic, basically, with every new um, technology, you have people using it for good and some persons using it for bad. And in the case of Tornado Cash, um, the U.S. Treasury Department, their standards, over $7 billion have been illicitly moved and vanished into thin air by the use of Tornado Cash as a, as a mixer on the Ethereum network. So based on that, they are, they are actually shutting down and blacklisting the tornado cash and saying that no U.S. citizen should make use of this. Now, generally, this is actually bad for the crypto and blockchain community, and this goes a long way to tell us how decentralized this community really is, because we have exchanges now cracking down on multiple wallet address and actually freezing funds of users. So what, what I would say is it's actually a 50-50 right now. The crypto community is still trying to rally around and see how we can turn this situation around. But so far, it's been very, very much negative impact for Tornado itself. Yeah, yeah. Talking about uh, Tornado itself, we've seen the uh, price of that token crash. Uh, and I'm wondering, uh, uh, is, is this a good time? Because I know some traders will still want to pick up that token. Talking about Tornado Cash, but what would you be doing with that? Actually, I already picked up some. Tornado Cash tokens um, yesterday at around $11.5.
because I just see this as um, food. If you ask me FUD, I just see it as that because I know all of this would phase out over time because um, there are people using tornado cash for good to conceal their identity. For example, people donating to Ukraine war, they, they might not want you to know that they are donating to that good cause and they have people to using it for illegal stuff. So I see this as a food and I expect tornado cash token to recover Quite most likely before the end of the year. Yeah. Uh all right, uh, uh, quite a, a risky uh, move. I know some <laughs> will be scared, but obviously we have that uh, Warren Buffett uh, mantra there, buy when others are fearful and sell when they're greedy. Thank you so much, Solomon. Exactly. All right. All right, let's flip over to the top gainers. Let's see uh, who's topping that list. That's uh, Shiba. Shiba Inu there is up 7.69%. Uh, that's uh, one of in his favorite tokens there. Uh, it, it did pump over 30% over the weekend. We see Leo there up 6.13%. We see GMT uh, up 1.78%. Dogecoin, so it's uh, the meme coins uh, getting the shine. We're seeing this as up about 1.00%. Uh, Let's flip over to the top losers counter. See Lido Dow there down 9.56%. Uh, Loopring, one of the oldies there, down 9.37%. We see Kusama and Theta uh, all on the losers counter. So it's uh, quite a mixed bag we're getting uh, this morning. So uh, Ini, uh, we're seeing your token there, the one you like, <laughs> Shiba. It's uh, topping the gainers uh, list uh, this morning yeah, over, and over the weekend yeah, too. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I think it's been a while since we've seen sheep uh, yeah. make anywhere close to the top in recent times. Exactly. Tornado had uh, hit it. Yeah, you're talking about <laughs> tornado cash. <there. laughs> and then since Solomon confidently said, well, I have bought it already. Imagine, so. he's, he's not following the crowd at this point. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. I guess that's what makes you stand out when yeah. you don't follow the crowd. You just yeah. understand what you're doing and then you follow through. And Been in the market so long, mm, I guess. I could the confidence. All right, uh, Ladi, thank you so much. We'll see you at 1.30 for All Business right. Incorporated. Okay.